Hello, I was playing with some hoppers here, and I think I have what might be the smallest way you can do a hopper timer of this kind. Uh, so, basically, I have two hoppers pointing into each other. And one of them feeds into the other one. And that takes 128 seconds to go each way. So if you do only go on one of them, it's 4 minutes and 16 seconds between every pulse. And the way this works is uh, each comparator is turned on a bit of a latch here and the comparator's power in the torch so it stays off until the hopper is completely empty and when it is completely empty it turns this torch on which just stops this hopper from sending any items and also powers the side of the comparator here, so uh, that will stop this comparator from outputting any power until this hopper is completely full or the torch is powered in another way. But uh, the other side is doing the same thing. This comparator will not have any power onto the torch until it's completely full. And when that happens, the torch goes off, this hopper is no longer powered, and it will send items back to this one. And it's a really quite simple way to do it. It's just so it was kind of neat. Well, it actually worked out a lot smaller than I was thinking it could possibly be for a four minute timer, you know. Uh, I actually am using this on the ice farm here. Just so want to show you, it does switch over really quick. So it's pretty close now. So another second or two. There you go. It'll switch like that every 128 seconds. And that's five full stacks at 0.4 seconds per item. So I have built it here in the ice form with a pulse limiter on each output so every 128 seconds the ice form will pulse the pistons and uh, the button is tied into a hopper T flip flop here which is just a wire going to a torch powering the hoppers one item in one of the hoppers Every time you push the button, it cycles three times. So, in the end, this comparator will always toggle. And that is going up to the light, which is right behind this cobble. And also this torch, which goes on top of these hoppers and disables both of them. So the timer will not run. And this is powered. It's just a simple application of it. It's a fairly flexible timer. Hit it, it comes on. And the hoppers are moving items now. As, as it is, the only way to really change the time on it is to add items that stack to different amounts. Uh, like say you wanted to make this timer a little bit shorter, you could stick ender pearls or snowballs in one of the hopper slots. Uh, the only restriction of this particular setup is that the hopper has to register is completely full when all of the items are swapped. So if I wanted to, I could take these out and just put stuff like that in there and it still worked just the same. 
Um, other than that, I can have less than the full amount of items in whatever it's done. The torches will both come back on. And to start the timer up again, we got to give it a quick signal there. Probably need a bit more in there though. Put a whole stack in there. Uh, let's see. The problem with doing it directly on the torches here is that the comparators are powering it, but you can get around that with repeaters on the side or some other methods. Power it for a little bit there. Got to take the dust away now. And it will run until this is completely empty. Uh, I was going to use this in a blaze farm so that every time every time the hopper goes, it will power the crusher for the pistons. And every time it's done, all I have to do is send it another pulse. and it'll run in the opposite direction. So, it's a pretty useful timer and if you want to make it even less time you can just add more stuff into it, but uh, I haven't seen too many timers other than using 20 repeaters or something ridiculous like that that'll work effectively pulsing just once, not running continuously. So I think this is a pretty special design here. Uh, I hope it's enough to explain how it works, but I know this is pretty crazy range no, no. <laughs> um, I, I do plan to show how I'm using it in the blaze farm, but I am still working that out right now. I actually just started that yesterday, so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, so see you next time then.